Breaking news, attack on Christmas worshippers, many wounded, the religion of peace strikes again, this time in Cairo, Egypt. The Egyptian Coptic Christian Diocese confirmed on Saturday that hundreds of peace-loving Muslim demonstrators assaulted an unlicensed church south of Cairo. It was also confirmed that the incident took place right after the regular Friday prayers as the peaceful demonstrators gathered outside the building right before they stormed it. The demonstrators chanted bigoted slogans and called for the church's demolition. The demonstrators later went on to destroy the church's contents and assaulted Christians inside before security personnel arrived and were able to disperse them. The wounded were transferred to a nearby hospital but no status of the injuries was given. The church is located in Giza which is a small city just outside of Cairo has yet to be sanctioned by the state but has been observing prayers for over 15 years. The state tries to avoid the sanctioning of Christian churches because of the fear that the religion of peace followers will attack it and people will be injured, or worse. Suicide bombers kill 44 at Palm Sunday services in Egypt. Tanta. Egypt, AP, suicide bombers struck hours apart at two Coptic churches in northern Egypt, killing 44 people and turning Palm Sunday services into scenes of horror and outrage at the government that led the president to call for a three-month state of emergency. The Islamic State group claimed responsibility for the violence, adding to fears that extremists are shifting their focus to civilians, especially Egypt's Christian minority. The attacks in the northern cities of Danta and Alexandria that also left 126 people wounded came at the start of Holy Week leading up to Easter, and just weeks before Pope Francis is due to visit. Pope Nawadros II, the leader of the Coptic Church who will meet with Francis on April 28 to 29, was in the Alexandra Cathedral at the time of the bombing but was unhurt, the Interior Ministry said. It was the single deadliest day for Christians in decades and the worst since a bombing at a Cairo church in December killed 30 people. Late Sunday night, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi called for a three-month state of emergency. According to Egypt's constitution, parliament must vote in favor of such a declaration, a virtual certainty since it is packed with supporters of the president. It cannot exceed six months without a referendum to extend it. The army chief turned president also dispatched elite troops across the country to protect key installations and accused unidentified countries of fueling instability, saying that Egyptians have foiled plots and efforts by countries and fascist, terrorist organizations that tried to control Egypt. The attacks highlighted the difficulties facing El Sisi's government in protecting Christians, who make up about 10% of Egypt's population. Where is the government? screamed an angry Majd Saleh who rushed to the church in the Nile Delta city of Tanta where his mother escaped the carnage. There is no government. The first bomb exploded in Side Street, Georgia's church in Tanta, killing at least 27 people and wounding 78, officials said, overturning buse, shattering windows and staining the whitewashed walls with blood.